What's up guys? I wanted to do a video today on my PM2. Uh, this is my my only PM2 that I have. Um, and I, for a while, I didn't have a PM2 in the collection at all. And um, I got this one and I just decided to keep it and I'm glad I held on to it because the more I have, have it, the more I uh, end up liking it. This is the Knife Works exclusive and 204P. Um, and I wanted to go over, because I've had it for a while and um, started to really like it uh, a lot more, I wanted to, to kind of like customize it and put some things on it that are really easy to do. And I wanted to show you what they are. They are, um, uh, a couple, two of them come from the... RGT Rips Garage Tech, um, and I'll show you what they are. Haven't um, seen this one. The first one that I'm going to do is the a pocket clip. And uh, before I go into this, I'll tell you. So he makes a a milled pocket clip, and it actually what it does is it makes the profile of the knife. Um, it it sits in your pocket pretty much the same, a little bit deeper. But it makes it so there's not that spoon clip uh, coming up and down. It just makes it so much uh, better in the hand. I didn't realize how good a low profile um, clip uh, feels. Uh, low profile is in this way until I put this one on and it did a great job. So the next thing I have from him that I'm going to be putting on this is the... Titanium. This is what you get in here when you order from him. He gives you a pretty cool sticker. But it is the linear tube machined. Um, so you can see it's kind of like thicker than the other one. So it's going to give it a better, a uh, pretty cool look. And I got the machine kind they also have stone wash but I thought it would match um, better if it was like that and in case you guys don't know this is curled up on the lip there so it makes getting the scales apart really hard but once you put this in there it'll uh, totally uh, take care of that that issue so we're gonna put that on and then the next one comes from flytanium which I believe is owned by Blade HQ, and they do their stuff in China, but they're kind of like the only people that had had this. And, and here it is. It's going to be a titanium backspacer, and this is kind of stone washed, but yeah. So it's going to. Oh no! Oh, phew. I thought that wasn't going to fit. But yeah, it's going to sit in there like that. And I can anodize all this. I'm not uh, going to do it at this time because I don't know the exact color that would look good with this. But um, I might come back and do it. So let's give it a try here. I haven't taken this thing apart yet. <laughs> oh, and the good thing about this is... They use, they give you, he gives you screws, and they are T8. So, they converts T8 screws. So now you have all the body as T8, and then this, I believe, is a T10. So, let's see. Oh, man, it's hard. Yeah, there's some Loctite on that. Man, that was tough. Yeah, look at that white stuff on there. Ooh. Yeah, this, they loaded that up. Okay, now these should all be... T8, yep. Um, I went with the backstacer because look at just how plain they 
I don't like the way that standoff looks. It's just not very nice to look at. So the backspacer is purely funk or purely uh, aesthetic. Um, also, this is aesthetic because also it's gonna make it appear like this is sm a smaller hole because the hole is so huge. And then this actually has function to it. All right. So now we're gonna try to take these off. I don't have a lot of experience with PM2, so this could be interesting. Like I said, this is a, this is only the second one I've had. Um, I wonder if I should just go ahead and take everything off, or hmm, I'm trying to think the benefit if I took the other side off versus just working with this. All right. Gonna hmm. All right, guys, let me uh, play around. Actually, I won't cut it yet. Let me do this side. Oh, that's spinning. Okay. Does this spin? Yeah, okay. All right. Heard something. Okay, looks like this side came out. Okay, now I kind of pried it open like that. So let me kind of like rotate it around and take this blade off so I don't cut myself. Take this off so I don't lose it. Oh. Alright. Oh, okay. Now you kind of just got to muscle it out, I think. Alright. There it is. It's out. Of that side. Alright, let me take this off camera for a second, guys. Hold on. Okay, I got it out, so... As you can see, if I was trying to put it back in, it was it would also give me problems. But with the new one, it just well, I thought it was gonna slide right in. I think it does. I think it'll be okay. It shouldn't be like trying to get that other piece back together. So I'm not going to uh, really clean this. Well, let me clean it off a little bit. It's running really good right now, so I don't really need to mess with it. I like how they do that detent ramp right there. Alright. Do that. Do it there. Whoops. I almost put the metal one back in. This is going to be diff more difficult than I thought because this, I was imagining this would be going in very easy. All right. Take it off camera again. Alright guys, it did go on easy, it just, 
had to press it a little bit, but you can see it's like chamfered and it does make the hole look smaller, which is what I was going for. And then the backspacer. I think that's going to look really good. Like I said, uh, I can put color on, on this and this. I think bronze, because I can bronze the other hardware, might be a good option, but let me know, guys, what you think in the comments. What color scheme I should do for the hardware and the titanium hardware now. And pocket clip. to press this down off camera again so let me get some leverage hold on all right guys it just takes some uh, pressing to get this hole in but I think the backspacer looks really good so let's get it back together Okay, it's sort of centered. Got a little blade play. Let me tighten the pivot. Okay, let me tighten it a little more. Pretty good. It's got a tiny bit of blade play. Just make sure everything's tightened. And this a little more. And let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, now we can get a T8 hardware. I don't know if this is titanium. Let's check. Yeah, it is. Wow, he gives you titanium hardware. That's pretty cool. Did not know that. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Rip, R Rip's Garage. Um, I actually um, ordered the wrong clip. It came here. I realized it was the wrong one. I messaged him. He sent another one out to me be and just said, hey, you can continue using the clip you have until it uh, I gets there. And then he sent me a, a self-addressed uh, with, with the postage paid for and everything. Um, so just really cool. So I had the, the other clip until the new one got here and then just swapped it out and sent it back to him. So he did that really, really quick. This doesn't feel like it's screwing in right. Okay. Oh, okay. So I think the backspacer. I think those screws might be pushing into the backspacer. So I'm not going to screw this in very much. Okay, I'll just kind of like leave it out. Uh, yeah, I'll have to think about it. I might have to take this apart and drill a little hole for that screw to come in. But this is the final result. I like the way that looks right there. 
also the back spacer. And there is all three together. So, all right, guys, that's all I got. I will see you on the next one.